Hi, it's Peter again from the Romford Horror Film Festival team. I'm here to talk about the great short film called Enchanted. I'm here with the filmmakers. If you'd like to introduce yourselves. Hello, uh, I'm Andrea, the writer-director. And I'm Francesco Gabriele, the producer of the film. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Uh, Francesco, you were actually here uh, last the Horror Festival with your film, uh, For Sale, which was a wonderful uh, short film that won an award. So great yeah. to have you back. Lovely to see you again. Thank you so much. It's, it's fantastic to be here, yes. And uh, yeah, we are here again with a different movie that, uh, yeah, in a different role this year. But yeah. it's fantastic. Thank you so much for the opportunity. You're welcome. So, Andrea, um, you wrote this film. Tell us the kind of the, the plot outline. What's it about? So, uh, well, what is it's about um, an artist that he he thinks that how you know my question was how far can you go in the name of art? So he's experimenting with his muses, um, but the idea, the original idea of Enchanted, it was. Um, when I first thought about it, I really wanted to do something horror. That's when I decided, okay, I want to do horror. Mm -hmm. So I had this idea in my mind. It was originally darker, but the great thing about the short films is that you can experiment and yeah. learn a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, but the the initial decision of having no dialogue, just music, sound effects to create this dreamlike experiences it was from the start okay um so yeah I've, I've had an amazing team behind me and uh in one day we just we just did it in one day the shoot was one day yeah. wow wow Very impressive yeah um, what else? we yeah because we also have some photography at the end yes and, uh, we've, we've we actually had like two units uh, working okay. on the photo shoot yes. on the videos and I'm absolutely proud. It's a great piece. When did you two start working together on this project, or have you worked together before? We collaborated together on several small projects before, um, like also some corporate videos that we did together, some um, backstage videos, and then the first, uh, let's say, bigger collaboration was for sale where also she collaborated in a different role because she was there in charge of a costume and okay. art director so uh -huh. these are things that are a constant i would say in, yeah. in her art uh -huh. and then we started to you know uh, uh, collaborate more and then uh, we worked on uh, enchanted and from there now we are developing also um, other projects and the next project that um, I'm producing and she's, she's directing. So okay. yeah, I would say we started to work together probably four years ago, four or five years ago. Yeah. Great. Right. So um, let's talk about how you raised the funding for this film. How we raised the funding? <laughs> well, um, we were actually self-financed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And but we were also lucky that, for example, the location. Uh, had access to it and okay. we, didn't, we didn't really have to cover for that so it was right. great. So they found an existing location? Yes, yeah, yeah. and uh, most of uh, always for the set we had to bring in some stuff for most of, most of the uh, um, set design it was already we can play around with whatever we had available um, so a lot of the budget let's just say it went into um, Equipment into costume and uh, and post production. Of yeah, course. of course, of course. Yeah, that's obviously a big expense. I think a lot of people are surprised at how much that kind of stuff costs. So okay, um, kind of on the subject post, we just mentioned the outside just about the score. Really wonderful score, really great. Do you want to? Yeah, yeah, who who did the score? Shane. Um, he. Um, Rutherford Jones. Mm -hmm. um, also, we both work with him, and yeah. we continue to work with him in our future projects as well mm -hmm. because he's just <laughs> genius. Yeah, yeah. She, she, yeah as she mentioned, uh, Shane was uh, both the composer for For Sale, the short that was yeah. last year, and for Enchanted. And for Enchanted, uh, the amount of work I have to say, uh, to be fair, it was uh, it, it it was like uh, a completely different kind of world in terms of also 
you know, because it's, uh, it's, uh, there are no dialogues and mm-hmm. it's only, you know, yeah. uh, uh, visual and score driven. Yeah. Uh, he really, I think, enjoy the process. And um, Shane, uh, yeah, as she said, Shane Rutherford Jones is a big shout out <laughs> for yeah. him. It's, uh, yeah. he, he's an amazing uh, composer. And uh, I mean, he, he was also the orchestrator for, as I mentioned to you, huge projects in the past. Uh, like uh, he did the crown, the last mission impossible. So uh, it's it's a fantastic um, yeah composer, and uh, it was great to work with. And yeah, we are in touch for future projects. So fingers crossed. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah it makes such a difference, doesn't it? When you have a good score, it really can elevate a piece, really make it. Yeah, so it was a really great score. Did you have any films in mind when you made this film? Because I saw one definitely in it, and I'm just I'm not going to give it away what I thought, but I just want to hear from you. Did you have any inspirations? Well, my main inspiration for the Oliver, the photographer character, I had in mind um, Perfume, the story of a murder, because oh, okay. I just love, you know, the yeah. he's innocent but also very evil and okay. innocent. But after a f- uh, some friends of mine saw it, they said, well, it kind of reminds me of Neon Demon, and I was like... Oh, wow, okay, that, that's another one I hadn't thought of. At that time, I didn't know okay. what it was, and I yeah. watched it after, but I haven't heard Okay. Examples. I really like it. Neon Demon. It's a great film. But I was thinking Peeping Tom. Have you seen Peeping Tom? The British film from 1960. So it came out the same year as Psycho. Okay. I'm going to go really feel nerdy now. It's called Peeping Tom. It was made by um, Michael Powell, okay. who was in the 40s and 50s. Him and Emmerich Pressburg were like two of the biggest directors and sort of partnership, producing partnerships. And they made films like The Red Shoes and uh, Colonel Blimp. Lots and lots of films. But he, on his own, made a film called Peeping Tom. It's about a photographer who has like a camera with a tripod, and his whole fetish, I guess, is that he uh, takes pictures of women, but at the point where he kills them with like a dagger that's hidden in the tripod. Okay. And your film really reminded me of. of uh, Peep and Tom, it's, a, it's an amazing film, you should see it. It's definitely amazing. Amazing. Watch it. One, of the, <laughs> one of the best British horror films of all time, it's amazing. Wow, because it's quite, yeah, my main objective was that he is obsessed with, you know, the capture the best exactly that. Yeah. picture is yeah. in between life and death. When the exactly. Ah, so, oh, so interesting, you've not seen it. Wow, I love that. <laughs> no, no, it's interesting that you've made your own standalone piece, and it's, yeah, that's great. I love that. So, um, we're at a horror festival, I've just talked about horror films that I like. Uh, what are some of yours? What kind of things do you like? I mean, I do love, uh, in terms of horror, I love the supernatural ones. Yeah. So, um, of course, I love um, uh, The Shining. Yeah. Uh, and more recent, I do love uh, Mike Flanagan, what he does with Stephen King's novels. Okay. And, um, I think The Haunted Hill House, that was a oh, great... Right, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. Hmm? The, the director of yeah. what? Well, <laughs> very I don't know what you're saying, but yeah, no, I am more, that, yeah. yeah, more in the. We were talking with Spencer last year about this, yeah. and yeah, I'm more in the nostalgic, like Italian. Yeah. Oh, you like Jello? I love yeah. Jello, but yeah. like, uh, I mean, you you mentioned Psycho and Hitchcock for me is like kind mm. of God, but uh, Dario Argento as well with yeah. uh, Suspiria. So I'm very much, yeah, Giallo is definitely, definitely, yeah, it's among my favorite. Do you like them? Yeah, yeah, um, Suspiria, yeah, it's great. Uh, what, we, we watched one here recently, Tenebro, I mean, that's mad. Isn't Which it? one? Tenebro. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's nuts. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you made some interesting films, certainly. Very, very. So, um, you, I think you touched on it earlier, what is what are the next projects you're making, together or separately? short dark another di- dark fairy tale uh, it's called black sunday mm-hmm. um, and it's about um, let's just say um, a girl uses tarot cards to um, guide this you know, this very strong connection between two souls okay and uh, well long story short we're just gonna bring to life some tarot cards oh wow okay it's, it's another experiment of mine. Uh, yeah. I will f- uh, merge live action with animations. Okay. It's, it's 
point. Interesting. But again, music will play a key yeah. role uh -huh. into it. Okay. Have you worked with animation before? No, so no? that's why I'm very excited. <laughs> Great, great stuff. Um, well, currently uh, producing this one, and um, I am uh, developing a short that is called uh, Kill the Suck, mm -hmm. that I didn't write, but the author is uh, Brandy Self, an American screenwriter, and we are going to film this summer, and again is in the horror comedy uh, genre. Okay. So, uh, again, we are planning to film in Italy, uh, it's all in English, okay. but it's... Uh, you know, it, it wants to make a little bit fun of sometimes the hyper salutist kind of life okay. with a huge turning point kind of, okay. uh, you know, uh, for sale yeah. to create the second chapter is in this anthology movies that I'm okay. creating kind of Italian tales of the crypt oh, that I would like to, you know, English film but based in Italy oh, to, to create four stories in total. <laughs> We've had, yeah, I mean, the anthology films are all, all in now. We've had lots of, there's lots being made in this area. This is a local group of filmmakers and they're making their own anthologies. And we had one last night. It really, really seems to have a revival, the anthology horror films. Great. Nostalgic time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. About yeah. these things, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Um, so last question, Enchanted. Uh, you said it's played in quite a lot of festivals. Um, how many has it played in and what are you doing with it next? Is it, what's it like after today? Have you got any more festivals? Well, uh, it has one in March in the US, for Hound, and, um, but uh, until now, and I think we're pretty much ending the festival run probably in April, mm -hmm. um, and it's already distributed on a platform for Eastern European countries. Okay. Um, yeah, no, it went... Uh, it over. It was quite successful in the festival circuit. It went over 30 festivals, won yeah, over 10 awards. So it went Amazing. very well. And um, I mean, we started with both the films uh, to, to learn more also about the horror festival circuit. Mm. We love it. <laughs> we love the horror festivals yeah. Yeah, so much. Right. The vibe and everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially you know, it's. Yeah, uh, yeah, because there are people that are really passionate, yeah, so you can absolutely. talk about horror all absolutely. the time with yeah. horror nerds yeah. that we are a little yeah. bit, even yeah. if you didn't watch that one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the, the goal would be on it, that as much people as possible will watch Enchanted. So after April, uh, probably, yeah, we will uh, try to distribute as much as we can in every possible platform. Great. Yeah. So look out for it. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me guys, thank you for bringing your film to the festival. Thank you.